Good evening, good evening. This is Catherine Storing. Welcome to uh, Hey Hannah, come in. Hey to you, Joel. Thank you for coming in. This is Catherine Storing, and we're going to be talking about how to find and rock your personal style, your signature look. Hey, hi, Anthony. How are you? Nice to see you. Hopefully, you guys can see me and hear me okay. Hey, Jim Jacobs, 18. Welcome. Welcome. Hi, Shane. Thank you for coming in. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, Susie Star, thank you for coming in. Commando 0920, thank you for coming in. Hey, how are you? Hi, Felicia. How are you? Nice to see you. I hope you got my email today. Hi, Susie Star. How are you? Thank you so much for inviting your friends already. I haven't even asked. I so appreciate that. Hi, Stephen. Thank you for, for joining. Hey, Sarah. Thank you for coming in. Hi, um, sirs. I got to get the phone closer. I cannot see. <laughs> oh, hi, Karen. Thank you so much for coming in. Awesome, Felicia. Glad you got the email. Um, I can't wait to see you on Thursday. Thank you so much for sharing. My name is Catherine Story, and I scope about fashion, style, and confidence. And today, I bring a topic that is close and near to my heart. Lots of people are struggling with it. So I thought, you know what? I'm just going to get on there, and I'm going to talk about signature looks they are so unbelievably amazing and that's what we're going to talk about today carolina oh awesome you're from carolina awesome i'm in the boston area thank you so much for sharing um on facebook i appreciate that where else is anybody from i'm in the boston area and it's actually warm again which is why i never turn the heat on this early because the temperature just changes all the time uh hi jay uh, thank you for coming in. Uh, thank you for the hearts for the hearts guys. I really appreciate that again My name is Catherine story and I scope about fashion style and confidence. Oh You love the hair. Thank you so much. I just did it. Hey, Wendy. Thank you for coming in I did it about a week and a half ago and I'm totally in love and I I'm looking at him right now And I always forget that it's that red um I did not see the post about from yesterday. I did see it. Hey, Wendy, how are you? If it's from today, I have not seen it. Oh, thank you, Jay. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, I love it. It's definitely working for me. Can you guys hear me okay? And can you see me okay? Can you post a one letting me know that you can see me and hear me? I see the hearts, which I love. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I love your prayer board. Oh, thank you. Yeah, isn't it awesome? I love that. I so love it. Thank you. Awesome. You guys can see me and hear me. I love it. Oh, thank you for saying that. I appreciate that. Lip color. To, oh, you guys are so awesome today. Thank you so much. I'm st and I just got their stuff just for you. I had no makeup today. I was wearing my glasses because uh, I was working. I did not see anybody else today. My friend had it on Facebook. Oh, really? That's awesome. So I'm like, okay, I got to dress up for this. So this is all for you guys. I'm glad that you appreciate it. Uh, and it took me all but five minutes to do my makeup and put this dress on. And I'm going to teach you how I did that. I have my notes right here. So, all right. So I think it seems like we are all here. If you haven't had a chance to share with your friends, make sure that you swipe left to right, swipe up. If you have Android, share on Facebook, on Twitter with your followers. Tell everybody that needs to have a um, signature look, okay? This is Carolina from Colombia. Oh, Carolina. Hi, Carolina from Colombia. Thank you so much for being here. I so appreciate you being here from Colombia. That's awesome. I have yet to be uh, to Colombia, but I know it's beautiful. I have some friends from there. I know it's a beautiful, beautiful place, and people are just, you know, beautiful. So thank you so much. Welcome. I appreciate that you're here. Follow me, and after after I get out from here, I will follow you because I'm high up today. <laughs> yeah, it is awesome. Thank you, Carolina. Thank you so much. So thank you for the hearts. And now we're going to talk about what is a signature look. And this is good for guys and women alike. This is not only for women. Uh, signature looks are so important, like crazy important. And I hope you realize that. And there are different reasons why it is important. We're going to get into that. But first, I wanted to describe what a signature look is. For example, for me, it's my hair. It's one of my signature looks. Every time somebody sees me, they, they look at the uh, the style, uh, the curls, and now that my hair is super bright, now that's my signature look. They always look for the curls. If I go to any event, uh, people see my picture and they're like, oh my gosh, that's Catherine, and they know my hair. They know I'm gonna be wearing lots of color. I'm gonna be overdressed. And I always say, 
I will be overdressed to the end that I die and I love that. That's just the way it is. Make peace with it. That's just the way it is. Thank you so much for the hearts, guys. And we're talking about signature looks. Again, my name is Catherine Storing and I scope about fashion, confidence, and style. And today we're talking about signature looks. So signature looks are important if you want to be on brand. If you have a business, even if you don't have a business and you uh, work in corporate America, you still have a brand. All of us are a brand. What do people think about you when they see you? Have you ever asked yourself that? What do people think when they see me? And that is your brand. What do they associate with you? With me, for example, it's about color and style and fashion. Everybody knows that whenever I introduce myself and I tell people that I'm a stylist, they're like, oh, okay, that makes sense because I dress like a stylist because that's my brand. That's what I'm about. And I want people to recognize that. And when I say it, they don't say, are you sure? Because that's not working. That's not what people are saying because that's my job. That's what I need to do. So maybe you're not a stylist, but maybe you are in corporate America and you want to get promoted. Are you close telling people that you are promotion material? Are you close telling people that you take your job and you take yourself seriously? And it's the same thing if you're, if you're an entrepreneur, even more so because you are your brand you are your brand so if you have for even for the, to the to the tone of your website and your business cards everything has to stand from your uh, business cards and your brand if i want to be transformational coach how do i dress awesome yeah so we'll talk about that in a little bit that's a great question how do you dress hey tanya thank you for coming in how do you dress if you are uh, someone that's going to be in the spotlight all the time and this is why i'm doing this talk because and let me think that what was your name uh i think it was sarah is that sarah that asked that question i saw with having to be put together and made up for periscope that's awesome um i have a video tutorial about that follow me send me a message on twitter and i'll send you the the video it really helps you to get ready fast awesome thank you sarah i will answer your question in a minute um style story on twitter send me a follow me and send me a message and i'll send you a link to that video um, so if anybody else wants that video, just follow me, it's Style Storing, send me a message and I'll send you a link to the video, how you can put yourself together for Periscope in a few minutes. Believe it or not, I have been at work, at home, working from home all day, I did not have any meetings today, and I, it took me 10 minutes to get ready. I wish I could get my hair done, money is tight. Well, guess what, Wendy? I do my own hair. I, I cut my hair and I color my hair. Uh, you look amazing. Oh, thank you, Wendy. I appreciate that. Having thermoscoping makes me... Yeah, exactly. I, I believe that. And that that helps a lot of people, hold a lot of people back from going to events, going to networking events, going to conferences because of their look. And that's that's not fair. That's not what I want for anybody else. I want everyone to be able to go out to go to their events to go to conferences to go to uh, interviews and feel confident oh thank you Britannia I really appreciate that thank you very much and this is what I have found I want to share with everybody else I can get ready in 10 minutes to look like this seriously I wish I had taken a picture before my hair was up on a ponytail I had no makeup I have my my, my my nerdy glasses on in 10 minutes I did full makeup I have full makeup on and a dress, I went to my closet, picked it up, it fits, put some jewelry on, I'm done. And that's what a signature look does for you. I also have a gift for you at the end um, that's gonna help you also with your closet and your clothes. So it's stick, stick tight for that. So we talk about what a signature look is. How do you do it? I will, oh, thank you very much. I will talk about that too. I just want to get dressed up tomorrow and act like I'm wealthy. <laughs> that's awesome. Wendy, you can do that. You can look like a lot of money. Can you think? Do you think I look like a lot of money right now? Right? That 10 minutes with makeup, 10 minutes. Will you say it's okay to sculpt dress like a slob? Uh, it all depends. Um, it all depends. I don't I don't recommend it for me. I'm a I'm a branded person. People look at me, I'm a stylist, so that wouldn't work for me. I recommend people that they dress as it really all depends on what you do. Um, Felicia says that I'm frozen. Am I am I frozen for anybody else? Can you guys give me a one if you can still see me? Give me a one and if you can still see me. Uh, thank you so much, Wendy. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you for the hearts, guys. Let me know if I'm still, okay, I'm not frozen. Okay, awesome, awesome. We'll rejoin. Okay, thank you, Felicia, because it seems like everybody else can see me okay. 
Thank you guys. If you haven't had a chance to share the broadcast, make sure you do because lots of people are going to benefit from that. And thank you so much for the hearts. I so appreciate that. So we talk about um, need what a signature look is for a guy. Oh, absolutely. We'll talk about that. It's a J. Um, Jim Jacobs. Uh, yeah, we'll talk about that for sure because this is for men and for women too. So why is it important to have a signature look and the different reasons why? It's going to make it easier for you to get dressed. It's going to make it easier for you to get branded and it's going to be easier for you to shop because you know exactly what to look for. And now let's get into what is a signature look. And I want you to look at yourself and say, ask yourself, what do I wear all the time? And that right now is your signature look. And I know that's not as, as exciting as you would think it would be, but it really is. How long, um, hang with me for a second. What do you wear all the time? Look at your clothes, look at your closet, do a mental list. What do I wear all the time? And that is your comfort zone. That is where you want to be. And you might need to have an upgrade. You might need to change up things a little bit, but that's the starting point. What things do you gravitate towards when you go shopping? And somebody said black. And you know, I'm the queen of colors. So of course, I want people to wear color. What do you gravitate towards when you go shopping? Like when you go to your closet, what do you go to first? Like is it uh, white shirts all the time for men? Is it khakis, which you know, if you have been here with me for a while, you know that I do not like khakis at all. Not a color for me do something else. I don't like that. So jeans. Okay. Excellent. That's an excellent example. Jeans. If it's jeans, they are jeans and they are jeans. And actually tomorrow I'm going to do a scope about jeans and how you can dress up jeans. So tomorrow night, you don't want to miss it. Tomorrow at nine, I'm going to talk about how you wear jeans and the kind of jeans that I wear. Guys, if you see me, dark wash jeans, awesome. If you guys see me wearing jeans and sneakers, I look like I'm 19 years old. And I'm not 19. Try almost doubling that up, okay? So I don't wear sneakers and jeans because I just look like a girl, like a little girl. And I don't like that because I'm a woman, okay? So when I wear jeans, I dress them up all the time because I kind of have no choice because I don't want to have young guys talking to me and stuff. So... Um, how do you dress up? If you are a jeans person, tomorrow night at nine, we're gonna talk about how you dress up jeans, what kind of jeans to buy. If you have mom jeans or dad jeans, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a set of questions so you're gonna find out if you are wearing mom jeans or dad, uh, dad jeans and how to stop, how you stop doing that. How old am I? I'm 39, 39 almost and a half. I'm gonna be 40 in May of 2016 and I cannot wait. I'm so excited about it. Um, anyway, so look at what you wear all the time, okay? And then upgrade. No way I'm wearing those. No way what, mom jeans? Hopefully not, Wendy, hopefully not. Um, look at what you're wearing. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that very much, thank you. Uh, look at what you're wearing and upgrade. If you're wearing jeans and you don't know how to do that, then tomorrow I'm going to show you how to wear jeans. If you like jackets, I had a client yesterday morning, she wears jackets all the time, all the time. So I gave her an upgrade because that's her look. She's a, she's a very tall woman and she's an, art she's an artist. So she needs to stand out and she needs to wear color. So I got her jackets, but I got her jackets that are amazing, okay? She was so excited and I found jacket after jacket for her. But these were not your typical boring corporate jackets. These were um, art pieces. They were amazing, colorful, asymmetrical, just amazing stuff. So just know that your signature look, it's yours and nobody else's. Your signature look, it's yours. And you have to make it your own. I was telling someone the other day that if I had to wear black pants and a white shirt, if I had to, I'll get into a scarf. Yeah, scarves are awesome, Sarah. Scarves are really, really awesome. They can definitely change up an outfit for sure. If I had to wear white, a white shirt and, white, and black pants, you better believe that it's gonna be the most fabulous white shirt that you're ever going to see in your life and the pants probably will be tuxedo pants okay just because somebody tells you you have to wear something remember do not get out of your our meeting what does that mean i love it <laughs> you have to know that you have to make it your own i went to a conference um three conferences ago a couple weeks ago right 
and uh, they make great, oh yeah, that's right, make cowl uh, scarves for sure. I went to this conference and I'm talking to this lady and she's an artist, but she looked very corporate. You need with your arms, yes. So I was talking um, to my uh, to her and she's, and I'm like, I couldn't, she didn't look like an artist. She just looked very, and she was telling me, oh, hello, I love your outfit. I wore this because they told me it was um, business casual. And I'm like, this is my business casual. And I had like a really colorful, awesome outfit on. And she's like, what do you mean by that? And I'm like, this is my look. This is my signature look. No matter where I go, this is where I wear. And the same thing for you. What is your signature look? You have to wear it anywhere you go. You might have to change it up a little bit, but it's the same version of the black pants and the white shirt. You make it your own. If you like patterns, you can wear a pattern white shirt. If you like pleats, you can wear a pleated white shirt. Whatever it is, you have to make it your own. Do not try to wear it like anybody else because it's not going to work. Um, make it your own for sure. When you go anywhere, anywhere, especially when you go into a networking event, when you go into a job fair, when you go into a conference, you are, you have to be on, you have to have that comfort, that uh, signature look on no matter what, especially, uh, this is one thing that I really, really hate. I see someone that I know and they have an amazing picture on their website, on social media, uh, or on the business cards. And then they will say hi to me and I don't even recognize them because when they show up, they show up like, I don't know, I feel so bad. Like you have to look like your picture. You really do. You're going to those events to meet people. Everywhere you go, it's an opportunity for you to get promoted or to get a client or to get clients. So you have to make sure that you look the part all the time, all the time. And Sarah, I think I forgot your question. Can you ask me your question again? I think you were asking about if you, if I think it's okay um, that you dress like a slob on Periscope. And I promise I am going to send you that link if you follow me on Twitter. Follow me here as well. But I believe you have to make your best, put your best foot forward anywhere you go. And I'm not saying you have to dress up, dress up all the time. Oh, you, oh yeah, how you dress if you want to be a transformational coach. Awesome, awesome. So usually people teach what they have to learn themselves. So I have an, I, I think that you maybe have to learn how to transform yourself. And that's why you want to teach other people. Is that right? Well, um, you have to look the part. How do you feel comfortable? What do you feel comfortable wearing? Oh, awesome. That's what I thought. Great, great, great question, Sarah. So you have to look the part. You have to look like someone that is proud of who she is and that is um, approachable, that people feel comfortable coming to you and that means that you look the part. If you're a transformational coach, people are going to expect a certain level from you, a certain level of uh, professionalism in looking the part. So let me ask you a question. What is your favorite thing to wear? What do you feel comfortable uh, in the most? Like what's your favorite thing? Oh, you're very welcome, Wendy. I'm so happy. Uh, hi, Felicia. Welcome back. Um, let me know, Sarah, what do you feel most comfortable wearing? And the same thing for the guy. Is the guy, Jim, are you still here? Uh, you were asking me what is the um, a signature look for a guy. Guys, I'm going to give you a little secret. And if you guys have followed me for a while, you would know this. No khakis, no blue, navy blue blazers, okay? No, no, no. I love nice blouses and slacks. Perfect. Perfect. So then um, find yourself, look at the pattern. Go to your closet and look at the pattern of the blouses and the slacks. What do they have in common? Then that's your signature look. I was thinking about scarves. Great. If, you, if you're going to wear scarves, then look at a signature scarf, a signature, a signature type that when people see a beautiful scarf, they think of you. Every time somebody has a very, very funky jewelry, you will not believe how many pieces of jewelry I have gotten from people because they say, Catherine, I saw this thing and I thought of you. It's way too much for me, but I know you will love it. And that's how you know that people know that I love funky stuff because that's one of my signature things. I love antique pieces. I love things that are rare and are different. And the same thing goes for you. So if it is for scars, look for something that is unique about them, that even though it's a different design, they have something in common. And you will see people will start talking to you um, about this scarf lady, okay? 
as I was saying for, for Jim, if you're still here or if you are watching on the replay, that please don't wear khakis in a um, dark navy blue blazer. You're not a little boy anymore. They are more colors, okay? Um, definitely wear um, charcoal. It's a great color for pants. Um, olive green, amazing, blue, unbelievably. Yes, and people still do that all the time. When I go to conferences, I see... I still, I still see men doing that and I just cringe because I'm like, either they're not married or their wife did not pack their suitcase because trust me, women, we don't like that. We don't like to see that because it just means like you don't care, that you're not putting any effort into it. So we want to see some variety. It won't let me do 500 more hearts. Oh, thank you, Felicia. Thank you for coming back. Yeah, guys, if you have been here for a while and you already gave me more than 500 hearts, you can get out and come back and reset those hearts. And I think I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. So, thank you so much for the hearts. I really appreciate that. What else was I going to say? Oh, suits. Okay. This is the thing, guys. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. And hopefully, I won't sneeze again. Thank you, Felicia. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. Guys, if you buy a suit, do not take it from the store and just wear it, okay? Because people can tell. I can tell. And it pains me. Please pay a little bit of money. Thank you so much, Tanya. By pay, it's so worth it. It's going to take a suit that is not as expensive and take it to another level get your suits tailored it makes a big difference it looks like an expensive suit and it looks like you really care about yourself and it will actually look make you look slim believe it or not so if you buy a suit get a tailor and your pants oh please do not go out with pants that are too long for you okay that's a big no-no that is a big red flag and they just let people know now they're not gonna look good. Wendy, my favorite suit color is navy blue. That is a good color, but play with all the colors, okay? And if you wear, if you have, if you're gonna wear that, make sure that you wear it with really bright colors. Wendy, pink stripe, navy blue, that's awesome. So wear it with a pattern blouse, okay? That will look really awesome. Flowers specifically or print, that would be amazing. Make sure that whenever you wear a suit, like if you have, no, not on a man. No, not on a man. <laughs> Oh, you were talking about for a guy, a pink stripe suit. That's okay. But I'm thinking about, I don't know, I like the European fit with the, the suit. It's just your size. It's like perfect. And I love the jacket that is not too loose. It really makes a big, big difference. So pink stripe totally works. Navy blue, it's okay. I like colors that are a little lighter. Um, like that winter white will be awesome. Um, brown would be great. Uh, navy blue pink stripe suit for a man. He, he yeah, for sure, Wendy. That would be awesome. And if you're gonna wear a white a white shirt for guys, the white shirt has to be crisp white. Okay. Do not wear anything that's dingy. Do not wear anything that's too tight. That's a big no no. Your signature look has to look like money. Even if you don't spend that much money, the fit makes a big ginormous difference. The same thing goes for women. If you're gonna wear white. The only rule about white is that it has to be crisp white and it has to fit. Not too big, not too small, your size. When you wear white and it's not your size, it makes you look bigger. I don't know if you knew that. And if you're gonna wear white, make sure that your underwear is not white also, but nude. That makes a huge difference. That's something that I learned when I interviewed this amazing lady for my, for my second book. Um, she was an undergarments uh, specialist and she said that whenever you wear white that you have to wear nude underwear and it makes a huge difference I even had no idea so I'm glad that I talked to her and that's for my second book style and faith which you can get on on Amazon now before we go I wanted to tell you about the gift that I have for you if you are struggling with your signature look and your closet is a mess and you don't know how to get started, you can go to stylingfaith.com and I have a gift for you there. I have my latest ebook. It's called it's called The Organized Closet. It's an amazing picture book. It's going to help you tremendously step by step on how to organize your closet. The Organized Closet and you can go to stylingfaith.com just like the name of my book. 
stylingfaith.com and the link is actually on my profile. Thank you. Welcome back, Felicia. Thank you so much for the hearts. I so appreciate that. So stylingfaith.com, organize your closet, look amazing from the inside out and watch how your life and your business is going to change. Okay. Don't let me see you at a conference or anywhere, not wearing your signature look. If you're a guy, do not wear a, uh, a dingy white uh, shirt and your pants have to be your length, not too short, not too long. Thank you so much, Marie. You don't want to wear any high water pants because that's really, really bad. I think high waters is definitely wor worse then pants are too long for sure. So thank you so much for watching now or watching on the replay. I so appreciate the hearts. I so appreciate seeing you guys. It's awesome. Tomorrow night, if you're going to learn how not to wear mom jeans or dad jeans and how to dress up jeans, come tomorrow night at 9 p.m. We'll talk about jeans and where to buy them and what to buy. Bring your questions. And I'm going to show you how I wear jeans and I'm going to style them right here with you you'll be able to see that and see how i can make jeans look really expensive it's possible so if that's your signature look you don't want to miss tomorrow and i also do it for guys so i'll do a look for guys and i'll do a look for ladies and it's gonna be cool it's gonna be awesome thank you so much for the hearts thank you for watching and i will see you tomorrow night again katherine storing i scope about fashion style and confidence and you can see me on stylingfaith.com. Have an awesome night and I will see you tomorrow night.